Tim Cruz from Cruz Reviews. Everyone asks us about Ocean K since we're like MSC specialists now. We're like mascots, like official ambassadors, but not officially. It is a beautiful island. It really is one of my favorite Caribbean destinations. It's so pretty. It's not built up, and it's not Wonder Aqua World like some other cruise land is where they charge you $99 to go on stupid water slides that you could go on in Orlando. I mean, why go to a tropical island if you're going to do a water park? That doesn't even make sense. But look at this. Gorgeous. It is a reserve, too, a marine reserve that a lot of people will donate to. It's actually a legit charity to help save corals and fish and all kinds of stuff I don't understand. I'm just not smart enough. But it's beautiful. It's got a lighthouse, too. So you walk onto it. You get off the ship. No admission necessary. This is completely free. I don't know why people think you got to pay to get on. You don't have to pay to get on any of the islands. You have to pay to get on Aqua Wonder World if you want to ride the rides. We can also get on that one for free. Everyone's super friendly. You walk straight on. And you see this beautiful, I mean, it looks like a Disney World entrance. And here's their mascot. I'm not quite sure what the hell that is. But, uh, okay, well, maybe the kids like them. I don't get it. But uh, you walk on directly. And uh, to your left, you're going to see where the trams are. Now, you can't take the trams unless you have a handicap pass or you're in Yacht Club. Now, we're in Yacht Club, so we'll show you how that works, too. But it's a beautiful entrance there. Um with a couple of shops too. So if you need flip-flops or something to put your phone in or a t-shirt or a cover-up or a bag, you can buy it at uh, overpriced prices right here in the two or three stores right in the front where you walk in. And they actually have a nice collection of stuff there. They have some good souvenirs. If you forgot to get souvenirs, some nice islandy stuff, a lot of stuff with Ocean K's logo on it, towels, just about everything you could think of. And some nice glassware, too. They actually had some surprising stuff, including this stuff, which is 21-gun salute, a natural... Viagra substitute. Goodness, <laughs> I don't need that. Okay, on the right side, the opposite side of the stores, you're going to see where all your water sports are, including your scuba tours, your snorkel tours, and the Wave Runner rentals. And that's super fun. We didn't do that this time, but the next time we go, we're going to try that out. They have a tour that goes all around the island and talks about the reefs, which is really cool. It'd be really interesting. All right, the first bar you're going to come up to on your right is the big bar. It's called Springer's Bar, and they have these really grossly short chairs. And the slowest service on the, I'm going to say it again, the slowest bar service on the island. Don't hold your breath. Hope you're not thirsty. All right, so Yacht Club, back at the beginning. If you're Yacht Club, you get to get on the back of a tram, like Felicia and this guy, spoiled, rotten with opulence, right? And it takes you on this back road past all the normies where you don't have to deal with actual people. This is South Beach. It's the most popular beach. First beach you come to. And it's beautiful. Plenty of places to sit. Lots of soft sand and most gorgeous water I have ever seen. We've shown it in a couple of our other videos, so I don't want to show it again here. There are a couple of bars peppering the area here, but they're always crowded because this is the first bar you come to. The first beach you come to as well. And uh, there are some covered areas. I think you can rent an umbrella to keep yourself out of the sun because it gets pretty brutal out here. I mean, it's a tropical island. Here's a line to the bar on that side. But there is an alternative. Cross the bridge. And there's the other side of this beach that a lot of people don't go to because they don't know they can cross the bridge or they don't want to walk this far. And the beach is equally as beautiful on this side. No admission over here. There are umbrellas over here as well. And uh, it's just not as many people over here. If you don't want to be crowded, come to the other side of the beach. And look at that. There's nobody at the bars. Three bartenders standing around here doing nothing because nobody knows there's bars. And there's multiple bars on this side as well. Plenty of places to sit and hang out. And there's some shade over here as well. And this is the side that you want to be on. So that's your pro tip. Go to this side. That's pro tip number one. I'm going to give you a bunch of them, so pay attention. Now, if you go to the Yacht Club, you're going to have this little covered area where you can eat. And you have waiter service for your lunch. So that's nice. The problem with Yacht Club is the beach. It's pretty, it's oceanfront, whatnot, but you can see how they've raked it here because there are so many rocks in the water. It's terrible. The umbrellas are free over here if you're part of Yacht Club, but you paid for Yacht Club. So, And the cabanas are actually cheap, so much cheaper than they are for Royal Caribbean or Carnival. I think it's like 80 bucks for the day. And look at all the rocks on the beach. though. So if you want to go on the water, you probably don't want to go to Yacht Club Beach because it was the same way about two years ago, and they still haven't cleaned this up. So many rocks and pebbles, you're going to hurt your feet. It's really unpleasant unless you have water shoes in here. Nonetheless, a lot of people did go in the water, and uh, you know I gave up after I pricked my toe a couple of times. I had toe problems. I'll show you that a little bit later in this video. The cabanas are beautiful, and they do have these isolated cabanas on the other side of Yacht Club uh, to the right of the Normie Beach, which is it's just a beautiful postcard scenery over here on the other side of Yacht Club. Now, there's another beach 
over here that normal people can go to. When I say normal people, I mean non-yacht club. And it's a beautiful beach. But be careful walking over here because these these things. Ouch. So I wanted to take it out. So I wanted to go to the bathroom. Check out the porta potties in Yacht Club. These are million dollar porta potties, I understand. These are what they put at celebrity gigs or a movie set. So it's beautiful porta potties. You can stop at a, a lunch truck, a little food truck, and pay $12.95 for a lobster and grilled cheese. Or you can go to the free area where the normal people go and that sounds so terrible, doesn't it? And get yourself a hot dog, hamburger, or some potato salad. What a lot of people don't know, this is pro tip number two. That's gross looking, isn't it? Pro tip number two right here. There is an express line. If you go to the left, and nobody does this. Like, nobody's in that line. They think it's a drink line. You walk up this left line, and you get yourself a, a hot dog, cheeseburger, and french fries without waiting in the massive line you can see here. And get your stuff on. Get on with your day. All right, so we're going to walk down towards the spa area, which is the far side of the island. Not a lot of people go here either. And I guess that's why they put the spa there, because it's so quiet. So you're going to follow these really, really nice walking trails. Here's the spa. You can get some spa services done, I think, on the beach, as a matter of fact. But this beach is terribly rocky, too. Not great for swimming, but if you just want to walk and, you know, just enjoy a peaceful, quiet, serene Caribbean island, this is the place to do it. It's on the left side of the island. The same side the lighthouse is. You can rent a kayak and become exhausted if you want to. They have a wedding chapel over here too. And some nice pergolas. And look at this. You can see like water spouts and tornadoes in the water. So peaceful, so relaxing over here. This is worth its weight in gold. Now there is a heliport just in case. And Tim did the ceremonial helicopter dance. This has always been known to bring helicopters in, but it didn't work today, so unfortunately. When you're walking back towards the uh, lighthouse, you'll see this place where Tim builds these rock things. Now, never to be outdone, there's Plumber's Crack Bar, which Tim won, and also the other activities including um, sidewalk boarding and lawn mowing so you could do those too if you get bored on the island there's plenty to do here now we're going to walk towards the lighthouse which is amazing you're supposed to book tickets for this which are 12 to 14 bucks on the ship but they're always sold out quickly but don't let that dismay you because you can usually sign up somebody didn't show up or whatever sign up right at the lighthouse we got on ourselves after being told it was sold out in yacht club a thousand times now it is like 165 steps it is quite a climb I had to push Felicia about 45 times to get up there, but is it worth it? This view is just amazing. It is majestic, and it's a great workout, too. Felicia actually had to drag me up. I'm not kidding. But look at your great views of the island, great views of the ship that you just can't see anywhere else. It'll also give you some history of the island and also tell you about the lighthouse, which is where their light show happens at night, which I'll show you in a little bit. But look at these majestic views. Just some of the most beautiful Caribbean views you will ever see. And it's the only lighthouse that is accessible by the public, I think, in the entire Caribbean. So it's beautiful. I'm just going to let you sit with that for a minute because it's just so oh, breathtaking. I could just watch this over and over again. I didn't want to leave. We're like, is it time to go? I'm like, no, no, no. I'm going to stay up here. No, I paid 14 bucks. No, no, no. There's li Ooh, she a little bit of a sunburn. Hmm, hmm. And down below, behind the lighthouse, there is a bar and grill where you can't order food. You have to pay for the food there. The drinks are included in your drink package, or you can do a cash bar. There was nobody out there. It was grossly hot on this day, so everybody sat in the shade. So there's shaded areas underneath the bar. This is the uh, lighthouse light show. Meh. It's all right if you happen to be there at night. All right, time to get back on the ship. That is Ocean K. How exciting. So much to do. If you do take a cruise with MSC, make sure you stop by and check out this island.